Hey man, this is Doc Farhan. Today's topic is crucial. It's about porn and no fap and masturbation. Very controversial topic. A lot of blah, 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 yap, yap, yap by people who don't really know what the hell they're talking about. I'm gonna tell you today from a neuroscience perspective what is happening in the brain what is the physiology of all this stuff? What you should do, what you should not do, what's good, what's bad, and how you can actually maintain the habit if you want to do no fap, depending on your life situation right now. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, man. There are certain things that are so toxic in your life that I don't care what you do, what you eat, what supplements you take, I don't give a shit you won't get to your goals. You won't be wealthy, you won't be rich, you won't be successful. It's just not gonna happen. So things like porn, alcohol, drugs, smoking, toxic friends, all this nasty, dangerous people and things in the world that are around us every day tempt us. Any of those things that you do you won't get to your dreams. There's no way. I know this from my experience. We have 200 guys in the Aphrodite Academy right now from their experience, from the 300 plus guys I've coached one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone, from all of that experience, I'm telling you right now, you need to cut out porn, period. There, there's no, there's no uh, compromise. I mean, it's just toxic, man. I'm not gonna get into all the statistics. You saw my video that I sent you in an email before with all the statistics about porn and erectile dysfunction and, and you know, what's happening in our society and why we're so worried. So I'm sure you watched that video, so I'm not gonna repeat anything. But today I wanna tell you the main reason why you need to cut out porn and then why it's okay to masturbate. <sighs> porn gives us this unreal, non-natural stimulus which our brain doesn't understand. It's known as supranatural. When you see these big breasts, these fake breasts or these big asses, fake asses, a lot of video edited content, you know, you see these big fucking dicks that are done through surgery or and then you see a, the guy having sex for hours and that's actually eight to 10 different takes that they did and put all the scenes together through really good video editing. So you see all that in porn and you see the different fetishes, and bestiality and trust me, dude, I used to watch all this shit. I was addicted for decades. Started at the age of 12 and I finished around the age of 33 is when I completely stopped porn. So more than two decades, I was addicted to porn. And getting away from that habit is very tough because it is an addiction that is even worse than things like video games or social media or cigarettes or alcohol. It's worse than all of that stuff. It's worse than drugs. It's a behavioral addiction. It is something that it's so visceral, it's so biological, so evolutionary, sex. And when you watch porn, your brain doesn't know the difference, right? We are conscious of things, you know, the tree and grass and camera, but our brains, it's just chemicals and electricity. Your brain doesn't understand that you saw this girl on a 2D surface with big breasts and, and this other guy's fucking her, but your brain thinks you're fucking her. And your brain will start, and you might already experience this, you know, when you're with your girlfriend, you have premature ejaculation or erectile dysfunction, and if you haven't, you will. You know, I've cured the addiction to porn, erectile dysfunction, and any sexual dysfunction that guys get from watching porn. I've cured this in the Aphrodite Academy. I cured it in myself. And the first step is to establish a habit. At least 30 days of not watching porn. 
So the supernatural stimulus that you've been having, and, and I'm sure you know the dopamine hypothesis, the way porn will negatively affect your brain is it will deplete your dopamine receptors. Now look, the first porn study was done in what, 2016, the first fMRI study. It's only been three years since porn studies have been done rigorously in neuroscience literature. And one thing that we know is that when we are excited by porn or drugs or sugar or anything that affects our brain and stimulates our brain in an evolutionary manner, porn is doing the same thing. It's the same circuitry in the brain. You know, the nucleus accumbens is involved. I've covered all this stuff in previous videos. I'm not going to repeat it. But when you look at the reward circuitry in the brain, when dopamine is released, dopamine receptors catch that dopamine. They receive that dopamine. And porn will allow this gush of dopamine to just come out of these cells, these neurons in the brain. And then the receptors become saturated. There's no more receptors left. So they become depleted. So when you start having sex with a real girl, with your wife, I mean, we've had guys who've been watching porn and then they get married. You know, they had like an arranged marriage or a love marriage and they can't have sex with their wife. And then they come in the academy and I have to solve their problem. If you're there, you need to enter the academy and solve your issues today. And if you're not there, if you're not that drastic, great. Don't ever get to that level. Now, if you're looking to establish a habit of not watching porn. We have this available inside our Aphrodite Academy. We have it, it's called the Dirty 30 Challenge. 30 straight days, no porn, uh, no alcohol, no weed, and you take Aphrodite every single day. We've done these challenges before. We're at, in round two of our Dirty 30, and actually we just finished round two recently, now we're gonna go to round three soon. So if you want accountability, you want someone to push you, you want someone to make sure that you take the action you're supposed to take and don't take the action you're not supposed to take. The academy is that perfect environment. It is that support system. It is that number one community in the world that's going to make you get to your goals in the fastest way possible. And look, man, it's okay if you want to masturbate. That's okay. You don't want those sex muscles to die. Yeah, you can go on NoFap, sure. And, and there's protocols to follow, and you can learn more about that in the Aphrodite Academy. But you need to understand the difference between porn and masturbation. Masturbation is natural. You can masturbate to you know, the thought of your girlfriend or the thought of one of your exes, maybe, or the thought of a girl you saw in the street. That's okay. It's healthy. But stay away from porn. And if you want that community, if you want to kickstart, let's say you have porn-induced erectile dysfunction, you want to kickstart that, your system, your physiology, then Afro-D is the perfect place to start. Click that link below right now and learn more about Afro-D. Really learn, man. What are we doing inside the community? What, what is this spark, this magic? that is causing all of these guys to double their testosterone levels, overcome erectile dysfunction, quit porn, quit alcohol, quit smoking, quit drugs, and quit negative emotions, quit toxicity, get rid of all the toxic people in their environment, and become positive and grow and achieve those dreams, man. You want to become rich, you want to become wealthy, you want to become fit, you want to actually love the body that you look at in the mirror, and when you're naked, you're proud, Join the Aphrodite Academy today, man. Do not delay. Take action. Don't make it complicated. It's very simple. Click the link below. And I'll see you on the other side, bro.